Hello, hi guys, Dane here, and it is uh, Monday, so it's the start of a new reading. Hello, let's try this again now that I've charged my camera's battery. So, it is Monday, welcome to another uh, edition of my reading vlog. I will start by updating you with where I am. So I finished reading Lynchpin by Seth Godin. This took me a lot longer to read than it should do, but I did enjoy it. I'm gonna give it a four out of five overall. Basically, the whole idea is about how you can make yourself indispensable, either as an employee or, you know, as an artist, a creator or something like that. I've always enjoyed Seth Godin's stuff. This probably isn't his best. I actually saw quite a few negative reviews about this when I was looking it up as well. But um, yeah, I mean, I got some stuff from it. The main thing is just that it took me a lot longer to read than I was expecting it was going to. But um, if you are an artist or a writer or anything like that, something like this is quite a good thing to give you a bit of inspiration. Like I had some great ideas about what art is and um, you know how to monetize it almost. But like in terms of art should be a gift, if that makes sense. So. Um, it was talking about this musician, for example, who gives away all of his music for free and makes all of his money from merchandise and concert tickets and stuff like that, which is an interesting way of looking at it. He was kind of saying, as soon as you write stuff or create art to try and get money from it, you're inherently compromising yourself as an artist because you're gonna write what you think will get money. Like for me as an author, if I wrote books that I thought would sell well, I'd be writing YA, but I'm not writing YA because that's not why I do it. Although if more people want to buy them, that'd be lovely. So yeah, there's some there's some good stuff about Lynchpin. It wasn't all amazing, but overall it's still pretty good. And I'm glad that I read it. My little non-fiction read out of the way there. I, I've also tabbed some pages out, so I'll probably do a review on this one. And now I'm reading Carson McCullough's The Haunted Boy. There are three short stories in this. I think I said I was going to read the blurb for each of these. So, from a master of Southern Gothic, these moving stories portray love, sorrow, and are Search for happiness and understanding. It makes it sound like it's going to be ghost stories from the title, but it's not. It was more haunted as, as in, you know, if you see something that you can't unsee and it haunts you. And, uh, I mean, there are lots of trigger warnings for this. That The Haunted Boy is basically about this boy who he thinks he sees the future and he, in the future his mother commits a bloody suicide, basically. It's pretty grim. But uh, yeah, I've been enjoying that. And then afterwards, I'm going to read this. Georges Louis, Louis Borges, The Garden of Forking Paths. Fantastical tales of mazes, puzzles, lost labyrinths, and bookish mysteries from the unique imagination of a literary magician. That's a pretty good blurb right there. I like that. Later, when Becca comes home from work, we'll probably listen to some more of the adventures of Sherlock Holmes. And uh, get that finished. That's my read for the re read a -thon. And because that is an author I've read before, basically because of my weird way of picking what I read next. I read an author I've read before, a new to me author, author I've read to me before, new author, etc. And obviously most of these Penguin Mini Moderns are new authors to me. So if I finish Sher the Sherlock Holmes book, I can read another one of these Penguin Mini Moderns. And I'm on 46 after this one. So um, yeah, I'm near the end of these and I just want to finish them now so I can do my uh, wrap up video of those. So I don't know what else I'll be reading, but I'm sure I will keep you updated. And I'm watching stuff on YouTube. I'm actually watching like the YouTube creators channel. Some kind of old videos from it. Um, because I'm on top of my subscriptions at the moment. So I'm watching some older stuff. So yeah, I'm, I'm off to watch that. All right then. I'll, I will update you later. Hey Biggie, what have I been making? We have limited battery. So we'll run for it. Listening to Sherlock Holmes. And okay, the battery ran out. Uh, we are listening to The Adventures of Sherlock Holmes by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle, read by Stephen Fry. And uh, we had pesto pasta for dinner. And uh, this is banana and mango dessert. In a hopeless attempt at recovery. I don't know what you'd call it. It's got Very coconut naturally. milk in it. Uh, by the way, about the bird. We yeah. were Hello, it is uh, Tuesday. I didn't really film too much yesterday. Yesterday was a stressful day. So the landlord came round and uh, he was a bit annoyed because the place is a mess. And uh, also, he we're not supposed to have Biggie, but we have Biggie anyway. And he may be up upset about that. So, so yeah. So, um... 
Rebecca's been working like 10 days in a row and she's off work today so Becca's been doing some cleaning I've been doing some cleaning getting the place into shape so that's always good um, oh yeah what we're probably gonna do we might go to Weatherspoon uh, not Weatherspoons Wagamamas they both begin with W and they're both restaurants but uh, yeah so we might go to Wagamamas this evening because they do really nice vegan food there and so that will be good and uh, in the meantime, I'll give you a quick update on me reading. Georges Louis Borges, The Garden of Forking Paths. And um, honestly, I had a few beers yesterday because I was stressed about the landlord. So I don't really remember this one too much. It wasn't that memorable. It was one of those where it was beautifully written, but it didn't really grip me, you know? And then, when I was in bed, I finally re finished reading The Passage by Justin Cronin. Both of those Penguin Mini Moderns, by the way, I'll give them both like a 3.75, something like that. Uh, the Passage has got to be like a 2. I mean, it did pick up near the end, but basically it's like a thousand pages long and only about 300 pages needed to happen. And I just, I didn't particularly care for the story, I didn't particularly care for the characters. And, uh, and also I did think the writing was pretty poor in quite a few places as well, so I don't know, it's just been overhyped for me I guess and I will not be continuing with these books and would not recommend reading them but at least I've finished now so I can put it away and um, now I am reading Neil Gaiman the graveyard book which I actually saw Mindy from Mindy's book corner corner did I get that right Mindy's book journey Mindy what's your channel's name why am I having a blank um, yeah she she read it recently I saw on Goodreads she'd given it a four out of five so that's pretty cool uh, encouraged me to pick it up and I told you before that I'm like I have a hit and miss relationship with Neil Gaiman and uh, uh, Sometimes I just really don't like his stuff, but I recently read the graveyard book Which was illustrated by Chris Riddell. No wait. What am I saying? I recently read fortunately the milk which was illustrated by Chris Riddell and Chris Riddell also illustrates the graveyard book so that was a good sign and the fact that Mindy had enjoyed it. I'm about 40 pages in so far and I am enjoying it. So that's very good. So yes, so for my reading I'm gonna crack on with the graveyard book, a couple more of the Penguin Mini Modern soon, and for my bedtime book I have Isaac Asimov as well, so I'll let you know how that goes. But in the meantime, it is off to go and clean the house a little bit more, and uh, we're also listening to The Adventures of Sherlock Holmes by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle, which is my reread for the August rereadathon. And uh, yeah, we're pretty close to the end now. We've got about two hours left to go. Don't know if she knew I was talking to her or not. All right, on that note, let's continue. The official detective was attired in a pea jacket and cravat, which gave him a decidedly nautical appearance. Was the man? I made Becker an Oreo milkshake. Om nom nom. It is an old mm. Becca, where are we going? Laundry. Laundry. We've been cleaning all day. It looks quite nice, actually. Look at that. Point coins in. Your 20 p's. It's like going to the seaside and going on the arcade machines. All right, all of the cleaning is. You left a sock on the bed. Most of the cleaning was done. I'll put this sock away. All right, all the cleaning is now done. Yeah. All the cleaning and tidying. I just turned the light on. That was silly. I want to turn it off. And so we are off to Wagamama's. Wow, the colour has changed repeatedly as I've done this yeah. walk. We're off to Wag... No, not Wag... Yes, Wagamama's. Yeah. Not Weatherspoons. So we're going to Wagamama's for vegan food. You keep saying Weatherspoons. Yeah. They're, they're both W's. Oh my God, it is now dark. Let's go, out into the light of day. You've been talking to the neighbour's kids again? Yeah, they're like, do you have a new car? Yeah. There's Biggie. Oh yeah. It's like, what the? Introducing the glass noodle. Lucky butter. I have to get the angle right so you can tell it's butter. Yeah. Okay. He looks happy. He is happy. And there's mine. Of 
fight for jokes. I seen your citizen the same tears. That ain't a lot of condone. And now I'm tight. Look how tidy it is. Oh, there's a bus. He ain't no home. Oh. As you can see, we've had a bit of a tidy. It's almostly done. We have these. I got this. Look, I got a little flower to go on my uh, desk. It is. What is it? It's Wednesday today. I will be posting my reading vlog. I'll switch it around today. I'll be posting my reading vlog from last week. Uh, it's still uploading. It takes. So I put it on to upload when I went to bed last night, and I woke up this morning. And it was on 95%. It's now up to 98%, but the problem is, is when stuff's uploading on my crappy internet connection, I can't really do anything else. Like, it'll stop my TV from working, so I can't watch stuff. Uh, web pages load slowly, all of this, all of this rubbish. Um, all right, what's new? Well, we went to Wagamama last night, had some delicious food. You saw that. I also made some popcorn when I got back. We've got um, a, a, an Asda shop being delivered later, so I'll have lots of fresh food for that. Becca's working late today, so I'll probably work a little bit late. I want to film my Sherlock Holmes review from uh, the Rereadathon because we finished listening to that yesterday. So I want to film that, and I also want to film. I'm going to be doing the music genres book tag. I usually try and get all of the books from my bookshelves for it, but there are 20 questions, and some of them are like, you know, uh, combine two books together and stuff, and it will literally take me so long to do it. Like, I'm just not going to do it. I'm going to skip that one, and hopefully no one will mind. Um, I've been still been reading the graveyard book. I'm on page 162 of about 280 So I'm over halfway through which isn't bad because I only started it yesterday. It's all right I think the um, The premise to it is great and the, the start of it the first 50 pages I've really enjoyed and now I've started to just zone out. It hasn't really held my attention It's on track to be like a 3.5 out of 5 which is probably average for Neil Gaiman for me. He sometimes he has like a five out of five star book, but sometimes he has like a two out of five book. So, so there's that. Uh, let's go through here. Come on through here. Oh my goodness. Now, believe it or not, it is quite tidy in here. Uh, let's let's open the curtains, get some light in. So. Uh, this is actually the easiest of the rooms for us to tidy. There's normally like clothes hanging up everywhere. You can actually see there are some jeans here hanging up. Hey Biggie, you comfy there? I need to make the bed, don't I? He likes us though, because he gets the fan over there blowing at him. So he's just, just chilling, aren't you Biggs? Got a wet tail, because he must have been cleaning his tail. Here we go. And that there is like a, it's actually a hand warmer. You can put your hands inside it. It's called Jess. Do we have any post? The Cricket World Cup Carnival is coming. I think we're good. I had some artists do that. So yeah, I do need to make the bed, but well, I guess I'll do that when Biggie isn't in here. Other than that, yeah. I'm gonna sit back down at my uh, sofa and do some work today. I've got some stuff for a new client who uh, I'm basically under an NDA, a non-disclosure agreement, so I can't talk too much about that. But some stuff for this new client, some stuff for Emmanuel Fombo who wrote The Future of Healthcare, so I'm helping him get a presence on Medium and Quora. Uh, I've got to buy a book called The Elemental Workplace by Neil Usher, because I've got to read that and write a 2,000 word summary of it, but I'm getting paid to do it. I'm not getting paid to read it, but I'll read it, I'll happily read it anyway, you know. Uh, and I'm getting paid to write the summary, so that's always good. And, uh, yeah, that's about it. Also, we got these flowers. Yeah. And, uh, as you can see, there's not too much room in our kitchen. These are my favourite sweets. Strawberry fizzy laces, and uh, they're gelatine-free as well. Alright. Hello, my name's I'm So I'm watching the YouTube creator channel or whatever and I've been cooking all evening while Becca's out and I've made these. Let me take to, to where the light is a bit more, a little bit softer. Here we have it. This is my mushroom burger. I homemade the bun, the burger, the chips, the tomato sauce. So yeah, very nice. I got a bread maker. Yeah, I need that dough. I'm trying to make seeded bread, but I don't know how it's going to go because I don't have any yeast. 
but apparently you can use baking powder and lemon juice. Okay, so we got a bread maker. It's currently just proving in there at the moment. I think it might even starting to get warm. I shouldn't be touching it. I will let it go. But uh, yeah, I'm making bread. We'll see how it goes. Two hours, 45 minutes till it's ready, apparently. So it's Thursday. Uh, I will give you a reading update in a minute. I guess we'll give you a quick writing update as well. So I've still been working on my memoirs. I'm actually writing about back when I was at uni and some of the books that I read there. So these are my memoirs. It's tentatively called My Life in Books. And so it's just, yeah, it's part autobiography, part book about books, you know? So I've been writing about that. For my clients, I'm actually currently doing some work on an FAQ about cloud hosting. So it's, uh, what is cloud hosting? Everything you need to know before choosing your cloud. And so basically, if you're getting a web host that offers cloud computing as opposed to... Well, basically, you've got your different types of web hosting. You've got uh, shared hosting, when somebody has a web server and you hire some space on it. You've got dedicated hosting, which is when you hire an entire server for yourself. And then cloud hosting is kind of spread between different servers and they're all connected to each other and so you hire us a, a specific amount of resources as opposed to any specific machine if that makes sense so cloud hosting is good because if you know if your website if one of the if the one of the servers goes down it doesn't take your entire website off and if you're getting loads of visitors you can easily add, add more resources and stuff so yeah that's what i'm writing about for work I also had a, another call with a client earlier today who I'm writing a book for, but I, that's all uh, very top secret, so I can't tell you any more about that. But yeah, all, all is going well in terms of work. Oh, one thing I should mention, I got this, this, in the, I got this in the post today. This is Neil Usher, The Elemental Workplace, The 12 Elements for Creating a Fantastic Workplace for Everyone. And I actually need to read this soon, so I'm probably going to read this next or... Yeah, probably will read it next, actually. Because um, I need to read this and then write a review on it for a client. But it's going to be like a review, but also like Spark Notes, where it just goes through, like, what you can learn from it and stuff. So I'm quite excited about that. I have just finished reading The Graveyard Book by Neil Gaiman. Here we go. It was alright. It was probably like a 3.5 out of 5. It started off really well, but then... It just didn't hold my attention throughout, unfortunately. Kind of petered out for me. But, um... Yeah, it was alright, and yeah, now I can tick that off. So next, I probably will, I'm probably going to read The Elemental Workplace by Neil Usher. And uh, next Monday as well, I start my buddy read of the Amityville Horror with people. So, so there's that. Actually, I'm going to read Andy Warhol Fame, and then I'm going to read this. That's another one of the uh, Penguin Mini Mons, because I've got like four left, you see, so I want to want to finish them this month. So I'll read Fame, then I'm going to read this, then possibly an Agatha Christie, and then probably the Amityville Horror by Jay Anson. So there we go. On that note, I'm off for a bit. Bye-bye. So, so You want some goodies? Um, I... Okay. I'm watching PewDiePie play The Walking Dead. In here, this is what came out of the bread machine. I mean, it's not... It's not the biggest bread, but I can get a few slices, I guess. And now I am making a stir fry. As you can see, there are the remains of the stir fry. Becca will have some of that when she gets in. And I also made blueberry muffins. And they look adorable. Becca has just discovered my uh, muffins. How are my muffins? Yeah, how many have you just had? Two. Yeah, do you want another one? You can have another one in a bit. I wonder where Biggie is. Maybe he's in here. Oh, hello. Hello, you tucked in, are you? Oh, is that nice? Can I get your belly? Hmm. Okay, I'll leave you to it then. You have a nice sleep. I like how the fan is blowing your little tail hair. Alright, I've been cooking. This is before it goes in. These like pizza nachos. And I'm hoping, because those I'm saving for Becca when she gets home from work. I'm hoping that my nachos are ready. Vegan cheese, y'all. So this is how it came out. 
A little bit burnt, but looks all right. And I'm watching LA Beast. I have made a pie, and you can't see it, but I'll try to draw like a bird into the case. There we go. We'll see when it cooks to see whether that works. I imagine it won't. But it is an apple and pear pie. I'm going to put it in the oven now. He likes there because the fan's on him. Look at him. I oh, know. Hey. You coming to sit by me? Hey, that's my book. I was literally just about to... Can I... I was about to read that. What are you doing? No, that's okay, Omega. It's, it's all right. You don't have to. Biggie, those are my... This is the book I'm reading so that I can earn some money by writing about it. And you're trying to peel out me, me notes. Dun, 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 dun. Hey, what are you doing? Weirdo. Hi, it's me. Um, I should give you, oh, I should focus. There we go. Is that any better? This camera never focuses properly because of my, my beard. <laughs> this is all the one reason why maybe I should actually shave my beard off. Hey, Biggie. I'm coming down to say hello. This one, this is Andy Warhol's fame, Biggie. You've been very, you've been very inquisitive today. He's literally rubbing his face on the camera. So it, if, uh, you know, look, look, it's you. So this is Fame by Andy Warhol, the Penguin Mini Modern. It's number 47, Biggie. And uh, I really enjoyed this, actually. Um, I wasn't sure I was going to like it because I have seen a few of Andy Warhol's films. I've seen Blowjob. Have you seen Blowjob? Yeah, he just had a cool writing style. It says here, the legendary pop artist Andy Warhol's hilarious, gossipy vignettes and aphorisms on the topics of love, fame and beauty. And I even enjoyed the ones on love. And you guys know I don't like stuff about love. Uh, so yeah, other than that, I've been reading The Elemental Workplace by Neil Usher. This is the one that I'm reading for a client. I've got to do a review of it for them. Probably about a third of the way through. And I'm halfway through... Uh, the Earth is Room, Earth is Room Enough, it's called, by Isaac Asimov, which is my bedtime book at the moment. And I'm really enjoying it, actually, so I might even read another Asimov after that. We'll see. And on Monday, I have to start my buddy read of the Amityville Horror with people. So, just getting some stuff out of the way beforehand. Alright, it's Friday evening. Becca's working this evening again. She's got a day off tomorrow, though. We might do something tomorrow. And, uh, yeah... I'm going to wait for my pie to be done. Jesus. I might have a beer in a bit as well. I don't know. We'll see. All right. My pie. My pie is cooled. So I don't know. Uh, I mean, I guess I'll just basically want to get video evidence here in case when I try and cut into the pie, I ruin the pie. Welcome to Struggling in the Kitchen with Dane. Come on. The actual crust of my pie hasn't really come through but uh yeah whatever i'm gonna go and eat this now so bye saturday mornings at the cobain household and we're watching the great interior design challenge becca's making breakfast veggie sausage roll thingies not sausage rolls sausages in a roll might have a bit of mustard. Yeah. Yeah. And we got the bread maker going. Oh. Ready? Oh, am I carrying this? Daylight. We are in daylight. Yeah. Desper Avenue. Yeah. You will never find a more wretched hive of scum and villainy. Yeah, here's the ladder. Little army man. It's your face. We are a little. Apparently they've got vegetarian and vegan meat. Yeah, I heard actually somebody on Instagram said that they have new vegan food in. Yeah. That's kind of why I wanted to go.
organising. Yeah. So things don't get squashed and broken. Yeah, don't squash my herbs. Something like that, I'll have some of it. Cranberry and raspberry. Yeah. That looks good. Alright. It is recording. Oh. I've got some potted basil and parsley to go with my mint. These mints are already dying. I wanted to show you this before I blend it because you kind of have to see the beauty of this to understand how tasty the milkshake is. So it's vegan ice cream with a bit of milk, vegan chocolate ice cream with a bit of milk and uh, vegan milk obviously, soy milk I used and uh, eight Oreos and then we blend it. Oh Biggie, what does this beeping mean? What does it mean? It means the bread is ready. Bread? I'll give you bread. Let's try, let's try and do this without giving myself third degree burns. Okay, yeah, we made some bread. I've also made some like vegan uh, egg mayo. But it's uh, really, really mustardy. But that's good because I like mustard. It flops this time, it goes in, is our fruit rack. It's been a bit of a cooking day so far. I made Becca a, uh, a milkshake earlier yeah. and she's just updating her dad's CV mm -hmm. and we've been doing some housework. Yeah. So there's the washing up left to do still, but we've been to the shop. Uh, what am I cooking later? I'm gonna do an egg mayo sandwich in a minute. Yeah. And then later pesto maybe. Hey Biggie. I have been reading. <sighs> Becca watches my reading vlog, so it'll be interesting for her to watch this one. <laughs> I've been reading Neil, Ash Neil Usher, The Elemental Workplace. So this is the book that uh, I am uh, writing like a summary of for a client. It's fairly interesting. Uh, it, go it goes between really interesting and really quite dry for me, but I'm enjoying learning, you know, what, what Usher has to say. Not Usher, the R&B singer, obviously. And it's basically about how to create a workplace that really works well for you. So for example, it was recently, he was talking about toilets and, and it's, it was, he was right. He was like, this is an area that most people don't really think about too much, but like other than your reception area in a meeting room, the toilets are like the third place that your visitors and your clients and everybody sees. Your staff spend a lot of time in there. He was talking about how Google in that they have free food in their cafeteria and they have it like specifically engineered so that queues form so that people bump into each other in the queue and like the seats are slightly too close together so you accidentally elbow people as you're trying to eat and then you say oh sorry and then you start chatting. So um, yeah it's interesting to think about that and how to like engineer a workplace to be the best it can be especially because I love efficiency. So um so yeah, we're gonna go and watch some more of the Great Interior Design Challenge and get some more housework done and whatnot. And I will update you later. All right, bye-bye. So the bread worked, hurrah! Here we go, stuffed vine leaves and then vegan egg mayo sandwiches on homemade bread. That was good, it was really good. Show me potato salad. There you go, there is potato salad. <laughs> homemade jam. With homemade bread. How come you lied? What makes you think I have any duty to tell you the truth? Maybe this film is awesome. It it's Loving Vincent on Netflix about Vincent van Gogh, all hand painted. And here is a sleeping Becca. <laughs> ah, there it is. Uh. Why are you circling my house?
Stop it. Hey, look who woke up. Well, long enough to get a glass of water and then she's going to go for a lie down. <laughs> Yeah. Seriously, what is going on out there? Look at what is happening in here. <laughs> oh, very cute. And you're eating vegan chocolate. Mm. All right, I'm gonna go make some food. See you two later. Bye. Bye bye. Right, what we got here? Here's my big blog, blog, blob, big blob of dough. That there is the pesto. All right, here we have, this is a pishwari naan. This will be for dessert there with almonds in and there is an, the next one cooking. Onions and garlic in there to make garlic naan to go with this pasta, which I'm about to drain and add this to, to make habanero pesto pasta. So let's see how that goes. Here we go, so that is habanero red pesto pasta with a little bit of mango chutney there, that is store bought. And I should make my own at some point, shouldn't I? And uh, homemade naan, this is garlic and onion naan. So my friend Neil did a video review of The Alchemist by Paolo Coelho. Hey, I'm going to give my review of the book The Alchemist, which I've just finished reading. Uh, here is my review of the book. I told him he should start a booktube channel. Um, I should do my video update here, shouldn't I? Because Becca's just gone for a lie down. So I made this, um, the pesto pasta. It, it was called fiery chili pesto pasta and then I put a habanero in it. And it almost killed me. It definitely killed Becca, she's just gone for a lie down. But um, it was nice. I finished reading The Elemental Workplace by Neil Usher. I guess I enjoyed it. I don't know, Usher is actually, it's, it says in his like bio and stuff, he's also like, he's into, you know, stand-up poetry and stuff like that. And you can kind of tell in the way that he writes. So I found it quite interesting from that point of view. He had some cool stuff to say. I mean, I don't think I'm that interested in, in the workplace because I don't work in a workplace really. I mean, I know my house is a workplace, but I don't know, I, you know, you always try and make your house the best it can be. I mean, I did get a few ideas from this, but overall, I mean, I, I kind of had to read it for this client as well. I would give it a 3.5 out of 5. It's competent, you know, and um, yeah, it's fine. Whether I'll put any of it into action or not, I don't know. Anyway, I started reading They Do It With Mirrors by Agatha Christie. I assume this is going to have something to do with them doing it in mirrors. It's basically Somebody attempts to shoot somebody else and neither is injured, but somebody else is shot dead simultaneously in another part of a building. And the fact that it's called They Do It With Mirrors makes me assume that they're going to do it with mirrors. Uh, yeah, it's Miss Marple though, and I like Miss Marple. 60 pages in. Oh, let's quickly come through here. What? Here is Becca. Hello. Hi. How are you? Yeah. You want to be in the uh, weekly vlog? Yeah. All right, so uh, as I've just been mentioning, I blew your face off with habanero chili pepper pesto. Yeah, my tummy hurts. I'm sorry. <laughs> and then, yeah, and then you came to lie down. And now I'm lying down with you. Let's do it like this. That's yeah. a more, a nicer angle. Yeah. And um, yeah, I just wanted to update the good people of BookTube and you when you watch this. Uh, that I've almost finished Earth is Room Enough by Isaac Asimov, which is my bedtime book. I'm on page 140 of 160, but then there are 16 more pages of, like, an author's ordeal with apologies to W.S. Gilbert, and then it's a poem, and yeah. then Dreaming is a private... Oh! No, in fact, I just thought that was the end of the book, but it's not. Okay, so I'm on page 140 of 176. Okay. So, a couple more, couple more evenings of reading when I come mm -hmm. to bed and you don't realise, and I'll put this little light on. Mm -hmm. A couple more nights, I'll finish this. And then for my bedtime book, I think I'm going to do... I think I'm going to do uh, Fanatics and Fools, The Game Plan for Winning Back America uh, by Arianna Huffington. So this is the... Ariana Huffington founded the Huffington Post and um, 
this was in one of my videos recently because I was thinking about unhauling it and then I got up there on the video and I realised in the front it's signed, it says to Andrew, best wishes, uh, Ariana. So I thought I'll keep it then and if I'm going to keep it I have to read it otherwise I can't justify putting it on my shelves. Hello, uh, we're about to do some filming aren't we Becca? Yeah. Yeah, that's why she's at the bookshelves. We're going to attempt to do the first lines challenge. So, yeah, wish us luck. This is uh, chocolate bread. Yeah. Anyway, on that note, it is now like 11 p.m. ish. What are you doing on uh, Sunday? And so I'm going to end this here. So, as always, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to let me know in the comments if you've read any of the books that I talked about in this reading vlog. Hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Hit subscribe for more. And I'll see you soon for another bookish video. What are you doing? Thanks a lot. <laughs> bye bye.